Hello, I'm CJ Parker with Case IH, here to talk to you about the setup wizard with the Pro 700 display for the Case IH planner. Typically, this process has already been completed by your dealer, but it's not a bad wizard to go through at the beginning of every season to ensure that everything is working properly with your planter. To get into the full setup for the wizard, which has typically already been, been taken care of, but might not be a bad idea to go through um, at the beginning of every year, you can go ahead and select the wizard icon. And if anything on your planter still needs to be set up, you can look here. And if there is a red X anywhere in on there, that means that part of the, of the wizard or planter setup still needs to be set up before you're able to plant. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and go through the full setup of the wizard, which is a fairly simple process by following a lot of the instructions that are given to you through the wizard right up here on top of the screen. The main thing is, is to make sure your toolbox and display and your setup screen are set up. Go ahead and hit next. It's going to ask if you want to use GPS in your operation for anything as far as mapping, overlap control, or auto guidance. You can see here the yes is highlighted black, meaning that is the, uh, the option that is selected. Just go ahead and hit next. This is asking if you intend to use section control or AFS Accu row clutch control. Basically, if you're using row shut offs on your planter, you would go ahead and say yes. If you intend to use prescriptions, um, typically I always say no here. Uh, we have other videos available to show you how to load those prescriptions in at a later date. So go ahead and hit next. It's asking you if you want to use the container function. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and say no, but if you're interested in using the container function, we have a video available to show you how that process works as well. Go ahead and hit next. If you intend to do split planner mapping, this is for instance if you have a 16 row planner and if you want eight, row, eight rows of hybrid, eight rows of one hybrid on the left side of the planner and eight rows of a different hybrid on the, on the right side of the planner, this is where you would have the ability to do that. Um, for this example, we're going to go ahead and say no. Um, then if you intend to use factory supplied liquid fertilizer, now this is only if you're using the Case IH factory supplied fertilizer, I would mark it as yes. If you're using any type of aftermarket fertilizer, you would go ahead and say no and refer to that operator's manual for the setup. Go ahead and hit next. You have your, um, the operator that's going to be operating it. You can select from a list that you may have available or you can enter a new operator as well. Crop type, this is going to be for what crop type you're going to be planting with the, with the planter. So I'll go ahead, for this example, we're going to say corn. And then you have your grower, farm, and field that you can put in through the wizard. Go ahead and hit next for your GPS location, connection type, and what type of tractor the, uh, the GPS receiver is on. And then it's going to ask you for the forward offset. Um, this, the, uh, the Pro 700 knows that if it's on a, uh, a Tier 4A emission tractor or newer Magnum tractor, that forward offset is zero in inches and it's already preloaded in. If you see here on the diagram, that measurement is from the rear axle forward to where the receiver is. If I go ahead and go back, and select a GPS location and select a Steiger 350 to 620, for instance. I go ahead and hit next. It has that forward offset is measured backwards from the front axle back to the receiver, which gives me a negative offset. So go ahead and hit next. And it has the, the, the left and right offset are already in there as well. The height offset is something that needs to be measured from the ground up to the bottom of the base of the receiver, which once again, the wizard gives you a nice diagram and an explanation of how to make that measurement. This measurement is important based on tire size, tire pressure, 
and or maybe it's tracks they all have may have a different um, height offset so that is something we recommend measuring um, it's not receiving anything here in the in the shop today so I'll go ahead and hit next your alarm type most of this will already be set up through your case IH dealer uh, with the uh, with the auto guidance here is where we're going to verify the number of rows in each section. So for the 16 row planner that we're hooked up today, section one is four rows, section two is four, section three and section four, each section is four rows. Go ahead and hit next. This is going to verify the row width of your planner. So this 2150 that we're hooked to um, on this display is a 30 inch row planner. If you have a 2140 planner or a f that's 15 inches, even though we told it we were going to plant corn, we're still going to say that it's a 15 inch row planter on that 2140 because that could affect our population later on. So go ahead and hit next. Here is the bar distance. Since I told it we were hooked to an articulated tractor, that bar distance is measured from the fixed axle, which in an articulated tractor is the front axle, measured back to where that seed drop is located. If we were looking at an MFD tractor, that fixed axle would be the rear axle. So we would measure from the rear axle back to where the seed drop is located. If you are on a twin track tractor, I would refer to your operator's manual to find where the, uh, the fixed axle position is for those type of tractors. The outer row group size, this is for your clutch group size. If you are running a um, a, a WAS signal or, or something that, uh, that doesn't have very good accuracy, I would suggest your outer group row size to be bigger than one. You can change that for two rows on that, uh, on that type of GPS correction. That way when you're going pass to pass, the planter won't accidentally drift over and, um, and shut off that outside row. Um, if you're running GPS with pretty good accuracy, you can go ahead and hit one and just have that outer grow group, si group size as one. Go ahead and hit next. This is just going to verify some options that are available on your planner. If you have markers or not, um, the planner we're currently hooked to does not have markers, so I will leave that as no. Bulk fill, this planner, it does have bulk fill, so that is a yes. Active grand chem, that would be for your granular insecticide option, which this planner does not have. You can see here that the liquid product is grayed out. That is because earlier in the wizard, I told, told the monitor that this planter does have um, factory supplied liquid fertilizer. So I'll go ahead and hit next. Bulk fill lights, yes. Downforce control, and your options there are pneumatic or hydraulic. So if you have hydraulic downforce, you select hydraulic. If you have the airbag downforce, it would be pneumatic. This planter we are hooked to has the hydraulic downforce. And then your wing downforce control, whether it is installed or not. So go ahead and hit next. So then it's asking about cleaner control or closer control. Um, this planter does have the air adjust residue managers for the or row cleaners. So that is marked yes. The closer is for the pneumatic air adjust on the closing system which this planter does have the air cylinders to adjust the, um, the closing control. So that is marked yes as well. So here we get in to start setting up our work conditions. We have made a video to show you how to set up work conditions. Uh, the wizard's just going to, to walk you through it. So I hit next. It's gonna ask me for my seed cow value. This is uh, for planting corn. I'm using 27 cells in a disc. So we need to make sure that um, the cells per disc match um, what you have placed in your planter for the crop kit. Go ahead and hit next. This is where we're going to get into um, the liquid calibration um, for calibrating the liquid fertilizer. Um, you can go through that through the wizard setup or there are other ways to go through that through the Pro 700. For the sake of this example, we're gonna go ahead and go not go through this, but we'll ask, ask you to refer to the, uh, the video we have regarding calibrating the liquid fertilizer. The next step is uh, asking you to, uh, to set up overlap control 
Um, I would like to have you refer to our um, overlap control video to, uh, to see how to, how to perform that operation. Now this is my, uh, for my work condition for plant with liquid. So every time I go to that work condition, this is going to be my default setting of 100 pounds. Let's say for instance, I wanted to start um, heavier. I can go in here, type in 130 for custom. Custom's highlighted, I'm able to edit that. That's what the downforce is going to be for that work condition. To change my cleaner mode, to have my default setting with work condition, I'm gonna change it to put down pressure and then my cleaner control at, uh, at 15 PSI. Then my closer control for how much down pressure I'm going to have on the closing disc, I can go ahead, select that, change it to 25, hit enter to have my default setting for my closer control with my plant with liquid. Go ahead and hit next. Use planter seat speed. Only select this if you have a wheel speed sensor that's been, uh, been mounted to the planter. Um, this planter is going to use GPS, um, so refer to your, uh, to your operator's manual or your Case IH dealer to find out if you have a wheel speed sensor installed or not. Um, typically, that's going to just say, say no. So then we get the, um, the two boxes here for the frame calibration with the green check mark. Liquid cal has already been performed on this planter, so we have that green check mark. If you're going through this full setup wizard at the beginning of the year and you have not done your frame cal or your liquid cal yet, there'll be a red X, and that is something that needs to be um, performed before you can go to the field. So now this is just a wizard to walk us through our product setup for layer one. So I go to product, I can select new, we can call this ABC, enter the crop type, hit next, the default application rate of 32,000, let's say for this hybrid, I can hit next, minimum application rate of, let's say 26, max application rate, we will say of 38. And then every time I go to, uh, to change that rate, it's going to, going to change by a thousand seeds per acre. So go ahead and hit next. Liquid two is typically your, uh, your fertilizer. So go ahead and hit product. Select, we've already had 28% in as a product. So go ahead and hit next. Once again, your default application rate, your min, your max, and how much it's going to change every time you ask to change, to change the rate. Then it's going to ask you if you want to select or if you want to um, <clears throat> add any additional products, um, which you can here through the wizard, or you can go through um, the toolbox um, product tab to add it, which we have videos on as well. So go ahead and hit next, the overlap setup wizard. And, and typically the, um, the overlap setup wizard is, um, is done in the... Um, in the field, once you're that first day of planting, to to uh, to get them them clutches and your row shot offs fine tuned, but it does walk you through the um, through that process. Overlap control on percent overlap at 99 percent. Your um, your boundary control. Um, product delay is something that uh, that does not need to be does not to need to be changed, and then our start early and stop late distance. Your overlap control, we do have a video on that as well to, uh, to show you how to fine tune your, your overlap control for your, for your road shutoffs. So then I've gone through the, uh, the full setup and, and once again I get all green check marks, meaning that uh, the planter is ready to go to the field and start planting. For more information on the, uh, on the full setup wizard, refer to your operator's manual or visit your local Case IH dealer.